Media at SAFM with Ashraf Gardner. Right, so I wonder if you watch the TV show SABC on SABC3 called Expresso. It sort of hit the market a couple of years ago, and you wondered whether this is going to work. And uh, my sense is that it's endured. It has worked. Again, with respect for the target market. It's not morning live, but then they clearly wouldn't want to be morning live, would they? Let's, uh, let's get the backstory on the show with Paul van Dierwind, who was the producer of the SABC3 throw uh, SABC three show, Expresso. Paul, good uh, good morning. Hi. Good morning, Ashraf. How are you? Indeed. Let, let's just go back. I mean, in terms of how, how long has the show been around for? Is it, is it two years now or just, just under? Just, just under. We started in October 2010. We went to air. Okay. I have to say that I was on the set of the show the day before you guys launched, oh, really? uh, uh, bumped into Liesl um, from the best and said, no, you've got to come upstairs and we checked it all, checked it all out, right? What are the things, by the way, and I'm jumping here, that I think hasn't been done? And, and, and where, what are you on the fifth floor, right? We on, uh, the studio's on the seventh floor, seventh so we floor. have the penthouse. Now, production office is on the sixth floor. Okay. Now, the, the other side, that means that studio I apparently understood was, doesn't just have the view of the mountain on the one side, but, but the sea on the other. That hasn't yeah. really happened so far, right? Yeah, I mean, we shoot on the ocean side occasionally, but we have some production offices there and production offices downstairs. Okay, let's just go back then to, to when it all started. What is the premise of the show then, and, and what's it like now? Okay, so the idea was, um, it, it's kind of the brainchild of Patience Stevens, who's the top billing producer, and yes. uh, from Sweaty Pretty Productions, and uh, Bradley van den Berg. And the idea was to have uh, something different in the morning on SABC. So a... Um, Kind of the model of the American and some international breakfast shows where it's a lot more lifestyle content and less focus on news and so on. Uh, and the way the show was pitched was that it would be an advertiser-funded show. So we purchased the airtime from SABC, and we have a sales team who basically fun, uh, sell content on the show to fund the whole program. Okay, and, and my, my sense is uh, is you do sell. Let's talk about the yeah. brands that are linked to that show. Yeah, so so um, our biggest sponsor is Pick and Pay, mm-hmm. who uh, are behind all the cooking segments on the show, which is hugely popular. And we also kind of cover their uh, pharmacy and travel offerings and so on. Uh, we've got Vital Health Foods, who've been on the show from the beginning. Um, and they do, they have a very good model because they have Andrea Dupresi, who's a nutritionist on the show. And uh, so she's kind of the face of the brand, but it integrates really well because... Uh, she's also um, completely credible as an expert on the show. Um, then we've got some other sponsors, Parmalat, uh, USN, we have Edgar's Clothing, and the whole, the whole range of them, Unilever at the moment. Okay, t- tell me then uh, a bit more detail about the actual show. How, how does it work? To, well, I'll tell you what you do before you answer that question. Maybe let's just get a snapshot, if we can, a yeah. sound snapshot. I was going to just check if I can play a bit of, of what Expresso, in fact, sounds like. Uh, just about every morning, every weekday morning, that is. The First Avenue team, they are live on radio right now. I'm going to jump right in here. Hello. Come across to join us. Good yes. morning. Good morning, everyone. We are, we are simulcasting, so uh, the <laughs> listeners are watching us on TV and our viewers are listening to us on radio. We're going to be playing what they call Smackdown. Now, it's a general knowledge kind of quiz okay. thing. Last night, I was doing my thing, going all over the internet, Googling this, Googling that, so I can beat him. Okay, 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 okay. We're okay. live. Okay, Smackdown time. <laughs> live on Expresso, SABC3, in Cosa S3, and of course, on Metro <laughs> FM, First Avenue, got logo. Both you guys are ready. Let's start off with the first question. The highest mountain in the world is? Clang, 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 it's Mount Everest. No, oh, Mount, Mount Everest. Everest. What's wrong with Mount you? Everest. In the Himalayas, Mount Everest. Something there, the 11,000 what what. Catleho one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what company makes the, the Xbox? Cat- 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 oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Microsoft, let go of me. Stop it. Goodness, sounds like you guys are having a riot yeah. there. It's, uh, I mean, that's like our unique selling point is to <laughs> give South Africa a feel good morning. So get everyone uh, waking up with a smile on their faces. And uh, what you played there was a was a partnership that we did with Metro FM. Mm-hmm. And this idea of having, uh, we do it quite a bit, is have radio stations broadcast live from our studio while we're live. And it started off with Good Up FM. They actually came to us with the idea. Mm-hmm. And we have them on now, their breakfast team, every Thursday morning. And we partnered with Metro as well. Uh, and uh, it's fantastic. We get so much uh, feedback, uh, great feedback from our so? viewers and their listeners and so, so is that also advertiser funded? I mean, I, I, I'm, what I'm saying, do they pay for that? No. So, I mean, look, 
it's it's kind of a it's 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 a fine line between what has to be paid for and we obviously we still need editorial content and so the, that's kind of just a way that we're trying to make the morning more fun and uh all right. if, if we're talking fun and we're talking lifestyle, then I'm suggesting that we just you just have to get the right type of presenter mix. Mm. So, so talk to me about your presenters now. Now, maybe start with the fact that the, the one was not there, which is Michael Moll, who are, again I met just before you guys launched, but but after a short period, he went down to do his his, his what Doctor Doctor Hello Doctor show. Yes, right? yeah, it's called Doctor the Doctor Moll show now, mm. and uh, yeah, he was kind of integral in the mix in the beginning, and it was great to have someone such a seasoned, fantastic professional part of the mix. Uh, and uh, but the Dr. Molso was always part of part of the kind of uh, vision, and it was in the pipeline even when we started Expresso. So he was only going to be involved with Expresso for a while, and it was great to have him there and help him launch the show. And now he's he produces the. Okay, so he's Dr. he's not there, but who is there and why? Okay, so we have uh, Little Fun of uh The the show is, I mean, our presenters not all of them are, are completely bilingual, but uh, the. Our mandate is to basically produce a 50% Afrikaans, 50% English show. Uh, so we have Liesel, who's a, a fantastic bright face in the morning, mm-hmm. beautiful. Uh, Kadlejo, who's a multi-talented uh, singing sensation. He's part of uh, the Flipper Coin a cappella group. Uh, we have Kia Johnson, who kind of started out uh, as our traffic uh, reporter mm-hmm. and is now an integral part of the show, and she's pregnant at the moment. She's uh, giving birth on the 5th of June, I think. Okay. And we're following her kind of pregnancy, so that's been a fantastic switch to the show, and we have a lot of feedback and, and uh, interaction with other pregnant mothers, mothers to be. And then we've got Ewan Stradom, who's our um, resident fitness expert and also the weather guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, he has a lot of ladies swooning over him. <laughs> and then who else? Graham Richards, who's our new sports presenter, and then the lovely Leanne Williams, who uh, is a started out being involved in our couch potato segment and our express news segment. Okay, so so in fact, and, and, and virtually all those presenters are on the air every single day. Yeah, yeah, all right. pretty much. What we do is uh, we kind of have one of them in Joburg a week at a time, but they'll feature uh, in inserts as well. Mm. What, what, what is the, the, the feedback you get from, from your viewers? Incredibly positive. I mean, the, something I wanted to touch on is just we have a lot of, social uh, media interaction and we have someone responding to Facebook comments and so on throughout the day, throughout the actual live show okay. and we get so many positive comments I mean I mean from a media point of view I've always been almost somewhat surprised that we can get away with the amount of advertising that we do and not have uh, negative feedback about that but uh, the viewers absolutely love it so and and then your market who uh, you mentioned the the English Afrikaans split but uh, the the age group of your of your viewer, yeah. So um, the show is quite a young feel, but uh, our view is kind of twenty five to fifty age bracket. So those two, well, there's twenty five to thirty five and thirty five to fifty. That's the bulk, and uh, a bit more of a female skew. Mm. And in terms of that that lifestyle market, I mean, I am saying that having started it, you know, as you said, just under two years ago, mm. you, you sort of wonder whether this is going to endure. Mm. And it's very different to the the breakfast show on ETV. It's certainly very yeah. different to Morning Live yeah. with Vuyo and, and, and Leanne. But I, I have a sense very quickly, it's it's part now of the South African breakfast media landscape. My, my exactly. sense, it works. It doesn't work for everybody. It may not work for me mm. to listen. And I certainly watch it, but I may not watch it all the time if I want sort of hard news. But there are sufficient numbers of people that, in fact, want this type yeah. of thing. So, you're, I mean, w- would you be confident saying, okay, this is going to this is going to endure. This will survive. Absolutely, I think it's, it's part of the South African breakfast landscape, and we have enough of unique offering uh, and enough of following that that it's going to be there for the future. Mm. Do, you, do you find that because of the, you know, on the one hand, you have these actual advertiser funded slots, understandably, but mm. also that the nature of what you do lends itself to, to lots of PR, you know, publicity activities, which, mm. which somehow can also dilute the credibility of the show? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think we, 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 I think our presenters and the kind of, well, our, our message is honest enough that. Uh, that we're credible in in that sense. Uh, if that makes sense. Let, let's talk about yeah. how how you get your presenter team working together because I'm thinking 
uh, you know, uh, in, in a group like this, it's 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 hard enough getting two people to work together, sort of co-presenting. You've got just about everybody, and it, and it sort of comes across that there's, a, there's an equal equal voice. That that's how I see it. Okay, I don't see one person dominating this yeah. as the anchor presenter. Um, that may be easy on the one hand, but it's also probably a lot more difficult to get that that balance absolutely spot on and getting the team to work together as a team. Give give us give us sort of the backstory in terms of how how they all get along. Yeah, I mean they really do get on well, and it's. Uh it's, it's interesting. I'm sure that on a lot of those kind of shows, there, there is a lot of behind-the-scenes <laughs> uh, difficult relationships and so on. But actually, the entire team gets on really well. And I think uh, when the show started, it was we started on such. A, I mean, you say you were here at the office. It was actually you must be able to remember some of the chaos. Yeah, um, well, they were busy painting and fixing up the studios the day before the great life. Like, yes, they, they were still building the night before the show mm, went on mm, air. Mm. And even then, we didn't have a, 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 a proper production office. We had like. I mean, countless people working in the green room on like trestle tables. We had one phone line, so it was it was really difficult stuff in the beginning, and that was just while they were building our production office and so on. And everyone kind of just had to knuckle in and make it, knuckle down and make it work. Um, and so that the result of that was a fantastic teamwork and team spirit, and um, there weren't any real, real big egos. And that's that's kind of carried through. And while the whole uh, everything runs really smoothly now, we've got plenty of space and. Uh, Quite a big staff compliment. I think that's that's something that's really endured with the show. Mm. Someone uh, Facebooked me. I can't remember quite where it is, but I remember the, you know the comment saying, why, "Why don't you have actual news? Like just no news." I mean, there's a sense there's some news, but the reality is just sort of skimmed over. Yeah, um, it's, it's part of our mandate from the SBC was was not really to have news, and I think there was maybe from the. We didn't want to be a competition to the other SABC stations as such. Uh, so I think in terms of the time that we have available and, and the time that we need to sell, in a sense, to uh, generate the income to actually produce the show, um, we kind of devote what we can to news, and that's, that's kind of fitting with our or, or, or maybe the obvious answer is uh, yeah. uh, to you, Paul, is like, Ashraf, news doesn't pay, which I can, <laughs> which I can understand. <laughs> that's Anyway, Paul, thanks so much for chatting to us. Great talking to you. Best of luck for uh, for Expresso in the future. So it starts about 5.30, right, every morning? Uh, we're on 6 now, 6 oh. to 8.30. So, so our time slot has changed. Slight change. Okay, 6 to 8.30 on SABC3. If you don't want to watch the news, but you want to take in just about everything else as well. Well, as I, as I play out on this issue, let's just get another snapshot once again of Expresso, the team in action. Welkom terug op jou lekker voel en by program Expresso, net hier op SABC3. Vandag is het bykie tyd, of op hierdie tyd is het tyd vir ons vital uitdaging, waar Lian en ek een bykie een paar limoene gaan uitdrink. Alles om vir, of uitdrink, om vir uh, André te help, want sy is bykie siek. Ek het een verkouwe gehad, oh. my keel is baie droog, ek het limoensap nodig. Okay. Ja. So ek wil nou sien wie van julle die meeste sap in die minuut kan uitdrink. Ek het leeg, ek het een limoen om te skil met jou. Dit <laughs> <laughs> is nie een appel nie. <laughs> ek weet nie. <laughs> Grabie, en dit gev- vir gezondheidsonthaal, is het baie beter wees vir jou om sikke limoen op te drink, te drink wat jy self by die huis gemaakt het, mm. as, as om by die winkel in die boksie te koop of... Uh, ja, dis recht, meeste van die sappe wat ons koop um, in die winkels is verhit om te keer dat het um, kan afgaan, ja. en vitamine C is baie sensitieve verhitting, oh, okay. so daar is baie min vitamine C in, eigenlijk. Ah. Ja. En ons klomp ander gaat ook saam met het neef, so... Ja, ja, Ach, en, en um, weet, dis lekker om vers limoene te heet, dis ja. aan het sy soen. Media at SAFM with Ashraf Gardner Right, just any further thoughts on on Expresso? You know, you can you can comment on my uh, on my Twitter. Well, just Twitter handle Ashraf Gardner the one. Just uh, getting Expresso as well on that same feature and on Facebook. Just generally, I think for the target market, it appears to work. And I think that's the key. Is it right for the target market? Nothing the point that Paul for marketing. Nothing the point that Paul for marketing.